the 8th of March. It is 19 to 10, 97.3 ABC Illawarra. I have two ladies in the studio. One's called Ali Kelly. She's the president of Mind Blank and Monique Bolas, who's the Youth Program Director of SCARF, live in our studios this morning. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Happy uh, International Women's Day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, Mind Blank, it's, it's on again, but let's, uh, using theatre to combat deeper issues, just explain to us, Ali, what Mind Blank is. Mm -hmm. Mind Blank's a non-for-profit organisation. We actually specialise in the education of mental health topics using a form of theatre that's called Forum Theatre. So it's interactive theatre in itself. It's um, a model that's actually based off uh, Augusto Boal's theory. So he used to tackle all sorts of different subjects of oppression uh, within the community to help educate and break cycles um, for those that may be dealing in difficult times. Mm. Now you've teamed up with SCARF and as we know SCARF helps refugees in the Illawarra. So Monique, you're representing the youth program from SCARF. How did this collaboration come about? Uh, well, we have some young people who are presenting with mental health issues but struggling to gain appropriate care and support from mental health services and so we thought we might try something new and engaging and something different to try and um, give them access to some support. Hmm. Has, has Mind Blank used theatre in the past, Ali? Oh absolutely. Uh, so we've been around for the last three years now. We've been touring an interactive theatre piece which is Depression Awareness and Suicide Prevention. So we've been doing some research to evaluate the type of work that we do. However, once that evaluation phase has um, been completed, we're now adapting the model with different themes and subject matter. Um, so this is a new pilot project for us. However, we have done some research and in Queensland, they have worked with a similar model uh, to help with the refugee communities in terms of settling into Australia and just uh, breaking down some barriers by using theatre as an example. Uh, yeah, an example to help integrate into the mm. country and address some issues. It's a complex issue, isn't it? Because even, I mean, people that are Indigenous to an area who have the native tongue mm. still battling with mental issues find it difficult to express themselves. Absolutely. Add to that difficulties with English, mm -hmm. um, perhaps lack of uh, education in the local area, mm -hmm. looking for work, the stress is related. You really are tackling a very complex issue. Absolutely. Uh, last week we had an information night which was just introducing it to the community of young people in the Illawarra and already addressing some of those issues, how we dealt with it. Uh, we had young people from different backgrounds and um, some of the young people themselves may not have had much experience with English so we had uh, translators mm. present in the audience. Um, can you explain the different backgrounds of young people that we had attend? Sure. So in the past, um, the people from refugee backgrounds who have been arriving in Wollongong have been predominantly from different African backgrounds and Burmese. So we had those young people represented, um, but also in the past year and particularly this year as well, we've had a new cohort of Iraqi, Afghani and Iranian young people. Um, so that's been the mix that we'll be working with. Yeah, so it was really interesting on the actual night, the information night, everyone was in the same room doing the same exercises with us. And at first we uh, used theatre techniques, just uh, theatre games, etc., to warm up the audience themselves. So we didn't do too much different from what we would mm. generally. Mm. And um, then we got them discussing a subject matter was, which was related to exam stress. So we're trying to find common ground uh, where the young people can still learn from example, even if it's body language, not necessarily the... Um, actual language themselves to help identify uh, some of the subjects that we were discussing. Hmm. Okay, so you're starting to explain how it kind of works. It's a uh, quarter to 10, 97.3 ABC Illawarra, speaking with Ali Kelly, who's president of Mind Blank Incorporated, and Monique Bolas, who's the youth program facilitator from SCARF. They're both live in our studio here today, and just discussing how Mind Blank and SCARF have teamed up using theatre techniques to help people address mental health issues. Is there a large number of our young migrants suffering from mental health issues uh, in the area? Look, I don't think I could really put a number on it and say whether it's a large population. Um, we have had some complex issues evolve, um, but I feel young people from refugee backgrounds 
do need this mental health support and early on as well, as well as um, further years into their resettlement because their adolescence experience is compounded with their background, which often involves torture and trauma. Mm. And then all the complications involved in the resettlement process as well. Often it's a very disrupted uh, family situation. They've lost family members and they're dealing with a new culture, a new language. Often they've had highly disrupted or no formal education, but they've been thrown into the mainstream school system. They have a lot of pressures, new family dynamics. Often the young people are taking on um, the roles of almost a parent figure as well. Mm -hmm. So it's a very complex environment and as much mental health support as we can provide them, I think it's always going to be a good thing. Mm -hmm. So Ali and Monique, what would people do who are listening? Uh, perhaps um, people that know refugees that are uh, suffering certain illnesses at this stage. What should people do to get involved and when does this program start? Um, just one thing about the program is it involves quite a few different uh, networks and organisations. Yeah. Yes, us two are involved, but... Um, Multicultural Council Communities mm. of the Illawarra is also involved, mm. as well as um, Illawarra Multicultural Services and Navitas. So mm. we're working together as a network. We're trying to really build this support network mm. for young people. Mm. So there's... A fair few services um, that you can, well. yeah. Yeah. Wow. What's that acronym? Starts. It's high trauma. Survivors of torture and trauma rehabilitation yeah. service. Mm -hmm. So there are services available. Um, if you do know a young person or a family struggling, you can definitely connect them with us. So should they call Mind Blank first or SCARF? Uh, they can call any of the above organisations that we've mm. just mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, if they need a direct point of call, yeah, absolutely touch base with MindBlank themselves. Uh, we find that the young people that we're recruiting are already connected to some of these services. So just reaching out to let us know that they're interested in the um, actual project. Uh, the project itself starts with uh, term two of the school term. So it'll right. be starting in April yep. and we've got two school terms to go. Lovely. Okay, so there's plenty of time for mm -hmm. people to get involved. Your email address is, is, is nice and straightforward, Ali. So it's ali.kelly, and it's A W -L, L Y K E W -L, L Y at mindblank.org.au. And the number also is 0468 912 399. Ladies, thank you very much for joining us today and explaining what you're doing. We wish you all the best, and I'm sure it'll be a great success.